Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CADTEC Seminars, the BIMGuys.com. This week we'll talk about how to transfer an elevation, section, or other tag type from one project to another. In this instance, you'll see I have a custom tag we did in a previous video. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that tag. Let me go ahead and highlight one of these. Okay, so there it is. Now when I highlight it, I've created one called framing elevation. Now you'll notice building elevation, framing elevation, and interior elevation, so I can change them out. It actually changes the graphics, and it also changes the subset where it comes in over here, building elevations, subframe, etc. So that is a nice way to organize things. Now I'm doing the framing one uh, for a particular client. So what we can do now is we can take this element, and if we want to transfer it from one project to another, how do you do that? Because I can't save the family. You see, if I grab it, you notice there is no um, ability to actually edit that family. So how do we get this thing from one location to another? What we can do is open up another family, or no, excuse me, another project. I'm going to go File Open. And what I'm going to do is start a new project so there's, you'll see there's no smoke and mirrors. I go File, New, New What, New Project, and I'm just going to choose one of the standards here, like let's say Residential Default. Um, the one I'm, I built off of is this Commercial. <clears throat> I'll just bring in a Residential. I hit Open. I go ahead and hit Open. Now what we have is two projects open. I'm going to use this little button to clean house a little bit. So I have the actual level one where I have the project, I have the family, which I did in the previous videos, and then we have the actual way I want to bring it to. So the trick is, it's actually quite easy. What you'll do is you'll actually do a crossing over the object and maybe objects like I'm doing. And then I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. So I come over here and you'll notice there's a little copy icon. I'm using this because it's easier for everyone to see. At this point, I pick copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to the other location and now I'm in the new location. I'm going to go up to Modify, and I'm going to go ahead and hit Paste. And I'm going to say Paste into the current view. Now, you can use other ways to do this, <clears throat> but this is a, a, a quite an easy way. So now it brought in something that said Call Out Head, you know, blah, blah, blah. It didn't seem to like that. But notice it, it barked because this call out was the same as the other call out name. Now, I wasn't so worried about that. I just brought that in so you could see the re relationship. Now, you'll see the tag has been brought in. Now, if I select this tag, you'll notice that it says framing elevation. So that was pretty easy. Now, let's go and put it on a sheet just to verify that this actually works. I'm going to grab this and put another grid line right here, and I'll put another grid line right here. Okay? So now we just have some little, little element, and you'll notice that it brought it in. And let's see what we have. So let's go to this view itself. I'm going to double click on the head of this element, and it goes to that particular view, C3 and 2. So we scroll down over here. And what we should see is our framing elevation. So it actually brought the view in, it brought the tag in, and brought all the different aspects to it. So if I was to click on this, you'll see here's the framing elevation. There it is. And when I hit Edit Type, it also brought in the actual framing elevation tag. So it took care of all that with just a cut and a paste. Now let's verify that it works. I'm going to scroll on down here. I'll roll out a sheet. We'll go to just, let's say, when it has nothing on it, A6. And now we'll drag and drop that onto a sheet. So I grab it, put it on a sheet, drop it and let's go see what happened where we were coming from. So back to first floor, and you'll see here it says 1A6, and that's where we are. So that is a quick tip on how to copy custom elevation tags, section tags, etc., from one project to another. If you enjoyed it and you want to check us out on the web, go to thevimguys.com. Thank you.